Hi everyone, it's been a while since I've um, done a video and popped into my channel. Sorry I've been away, um, obviously working outside of the home. It um, doesn't allow me to do much crafting at the moment. Um, so this one here is a personal swap that I have done with Wendy Connors Beckett from Wendy's Journal Adventure. Um, so this has arrived for me today. It's Saturday here in Australia. Um, so our postal service is working hard. So let's unwrap this one. Okay, so what have we got? So this is the journal. And what else have you sent, Wendy? Isn't that beautiful? Look beautiful in one of the journals that I'm doing at the moment. I've got a few under construction, they're just not finished. <laughs> you know what, Wendy? This can all go in your sewing themed journal that I'm making for you, actually. So, we have some sewing pattern paper here, and we have a printed pattern here. yours is still under construction isn't that fantastic look at that ephemera mm, this is wonderful Wendy so I've got some ideas for that these are going in your journal I love that it's beautiful so we might even put that back in yours as well mm. and we have this bit of fabric here Okay, so that's that. Thank you, Wendy, for the extra bits. That's beautiful. And now we have the journal. I'm just turns off my glitz, Leo. <laughs> I'm not sure if Wendy is done. A flip through on her channel of this but I will ask her and if she has I will link it in the description box so there's Wendy's business card there and she's written me a little note <clears throat> okay so this is my sewing themed journal. I don't have one, so and I've wanted one for a while. So this is what Wendy has come up with for me. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh that's beautiful. I like that. Look at the cover. It has the definition of sew in there on the book plate. To join needle and thread, to work needle and thread, stitch, knit, seam. Um, so, yeah, my definition of sew would be to join needle and paper and thread. <laughs> and the back here, we have some ephemera that she's sewn around and backed on to tea or coffee stained paper. It's beautiful, I love that. You know, the beauty of this, getting it first, is now I know what not to put in hers because she's already got them. So, it's just closure here is measuring tape, which is material, and beautiful button. And here's little Leo again. And that's her business card, and we've got the library pocket in the front page there. These are so well made. Okay, so we've got this ephemera here. Mm, look at that, isn't she haughty? <laughs> Hoity toity. Oh, whoops, I just broke my charm. Oh, whoops. We'll fix that. I love to sew, and it has the sewing machine on it. 
And so that's the tuck spot there. Beautiful. I think this would be a Tim Holtz paper. I'm not sure. Let's just move all that. And this looks like it's a pocket. And it has another journaling card inside. It's quite cute. Once upon a time. I like that. I'll try not to take too long as I'm moving and ahhing over all these pages. Is this, a, this is a digi kit, I think. I'm not sure by whom, but I think this is a digital, downloadable, printable answer. Oh, Pattern paper page there with the pocket and some ephemera. Writing space for decoupaging. Love this little girl. Has plenty of her napkins. Um, I would think this is clip art that she's printed on. And we've got the different levels of paper. This would be a Tim Holtz paper and the what do we call these pages now? I've forgotten. Edwardian lady pages from the book. It's pretty. That flips out. And here we have a coat hanger charm on a little doily, crochet doily. In the centre of the signature, and there's some hearts on there. And then we have a tuck spot here, and she's got some decoupaging, little moments, big memories. That's a handmade tag. Oh, these are time cards. I think she uses J9 scraps for her stuff. I like that, that's pretty gorgeous. That's the other side. The ephemera. And some more journaling cards, so the tuck spot there. It's beautiful. Oh, look at this. Some more ephemera. The other side of the sewing pattern paper page. I love the sound of this stuff. Put the pages together, we can fix that. <laughs> oh, look at that charm, it's a spinning wheel. Some ruffle trim down the side, and I believe these are Sue Olsen's dress tags. And oh, another handmade tag with a little tag inside. I have these charms. <laughs> oh, I love this. A tuck spot there and some of that ribbon measuring tape. And yep, this is a tuck spot. Um, I think these might be your Tim Holtz. Lost and found things, I think. I'm not sure. More journaling cards. This is really beautiful, Wendy. I love it. Oh, love that face. How cute. And that flips out. This will be some clip art printed on. In dress form. I like the staining. That's really cool. Some more decoupaging. Another journaling card. And we have some old hooks and eyes and loops for the tuck spot. Another tuck spot here. I love that. Yeah, I think this is a digi kit. And that flips out. Some more journaling space in the middle. Oh, I like that. Hearts on a string in there. 
Well, Wendy, this is beautiful. Thank you very much. I'm going to get my skating shoes on and get yours all finished. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's lovely. And some scissors and the sari silk on the page. And another handmade tag with some sewing. I like the stitching on there. And another journaling card. And that's the end of it. And that all tucks in there. Oh, it's beautiful. So this will go up on the shelf with all my other little bits and pieces. So thank you very much, Wendy, for that. And hopefully yours will be in the mail to you soon. Um, I can't give you a fixed date yet. I'm still working. I've got two weeks left and then I'm on five weeks holidays. So hopefully I'll get it finished very, very soon. All right. Bye, everybody.